This is a video helping explain the neutral gameplay for Mario in Smash Ultimate. Mario is a character that a lot of the time has to play neutral based off of how his opponent aims to both avoid his extremely strong combo starters and keep him out. Due to Mario's overall low range, neutral can be the hardest state in the game for him, especially against characters that not only outrange Mario, but outspeed him. Luckily for Mario, however, he not only has a lot of ways to deal with these kind of strategies to get in, his reward for it can be a ton of damage per exchange or kills at extremely low percents. This video is going to get your foot in the door towards how you should play versus each type of matchup. This playstyle is used for characters who have extremely strong aerial play when it comes to either their dash speed, range, or frame damage. Characters like these can attack Mario's approaches from the air very well, and can cover lazy jumps and landings especially well. A common issue they run into, however, is that they themselves have to play mid-range with Mario, who can use his throw to grab, great shield pressure, speed, and parrying to deal with the opponent's pressure. In these matchups, it's recommended that you jump near short hop range and not full hop range, as many of these characters will swat you right out of the air for trying. Shooting and parrying will be used a lot here since you'll be playing mid-range a lot of the time, and parrying your opponent's falling aerials and with punishing them is a great way for Mario to get openings. To get used to playing like this, focus on not only how high you jump, but how far you are from your opponent, as the further you are and the higher you are, the easier it is for your opponent to react to your position. Parrying falling aerials is extremely important, especially since a lot of these characters with range don't have strong ground games, so keep that in mind. Catching landings with forward smash and up B out of shield should be also considered. Remember, dashing itself is a commitment for you and them. Dash dancing will be caught on to, so make sure you think about how your opponent is trying to deal with your movement to avoid autopiloting. This playstyle deals with the characters who like to use their options to control the pace of neutral, either because of the size of their moves or the range of their projectiles. Characters like these will often swing first to see how Mario will try to deal with their options and gain information based on that. It's pretty easy and common for Mario players to feel overwhelmed from the amount of projectiles to pay attention to, and yes, each projectile should be studied. In certain matchups, there are projectiles you will use aerials to hit through in order to create openings. Back air and neutral air are great tools for this. In other matchups, you'll be using cape and item catching to make your opponent really have to think twice about which projectiles they decide to throw at you. And with all of these matchups, using flood and fireball to disrupt the opponent's neutral and place them in difficult positions will be essential. A lot of this does take precise timing and a lot of understanding what projectiles do what, so make sure you study what projectiles is worth reflecting, hitting through, or picking up to gain an advantage. This playstyle deals with slow characters with a lack of burst options and characters who need to set up in order to properly deal with Mario's pressure. And that's the main thing about these matchups, pressure is key. Giving these characters too much room to breathe can make things harder for Mario, so he must take advantage of his frame data, fireball mix-ups, speed, and platform play. The danger that can come from playing such a fast page style is to getting stuck on that pace. The more buttons you press, the more likely you can autopilot into your opponent's counterplay. So while you do want to keep up the pressure, keep in mind that movement, fireballs, charging flood, and the threat of your moves can all put pressure on your opponent to do something, which could be a great opening for you. It's going to be a lot of baiting, a lot of timing mix-ups, and of course a lot of buttons, specifically back airs, dash to nares, rising up airs to catch jumps, and confidence in the options you are choosing. This requires you to think four steps ahead more than any other style, because not only does your pressure lead to a lot of quick decisions for you, but also your opponent, who may panic under the stress and under your pressure. Be ready for a lot of counterattacks while they land, panic air dodges, and remember to breathe during this quick decision style. Now, because this is an 80 character game, there are characters who may seem like they fall into one category, but they may actually require another due to how they function. Although the Shotos, Ryu and Ken, are relatively slow on the ground, they have a ton of good anti-airs and auto turnaround making it really difficult to cross up their shield and pressure them safely, so patient play is a better style for them. And although characters like Ike and Hero have the reins to wall out Mario, which would usually require more patient play, the speed of their moves and dash, and the fact that Hero can set up with buffs, would require more aggressive play. The best scenario is to become comfortable with all the styles of Mario so you can adapt well to how your opponent is playing their character. While objectively a matchup may play out one way, your opponent may not be comfortable with dealing with certain ways of play. Focus and practice hard and you'll find yourself becoming better and better at playing neutral.